Did you bring the party favors? Party favors. Did you bring the dip? Veggie dip. How about the invitation? Mm-mm. Veggie dip. I said mm. invitation. I thought you had it. How are we gonna know how to get to Schneider Snail's party without the invitation? Hmm, oh, what was it he told me? Uh, to get to my house, stay on the straight path. Well, that's it. We, we just stay on the straight path. Come on, it'll be easy. Come on, come on. Easy. Nothing with Hermie is easy. Mmm, this is very good dip. <laughs> Need a little more tomato. Just a second. I need to get something. But Hermie, remember what Schneider said. Stay on the straight path. I know, I know, a little detour won't hurt us. Just need to get past this skunk tail and climb this pear tree and, uh... <laughs> did I say skunk tail? You did. Stink bomb, take cover! Let's go. We need to stay on the straight path. Good idea. Hey, Hermie, wanna come with us and scare the ants awake? Sure. Hermie, remember what Schneider said. Stay on the straight path. Uh, I better not. Well, suit yourself. Come on, guys. Yeah! <laughs> Good morning, yes. What's going on here? Up to it, boys. I <laughs> Ants sure are grumpy when they wake up. <laughs> Stay on the straight path, right? Right. Hi, Hermie. Uh, have, 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 you have to come up and see this. The view of the garden is spectacular. Uh-oh. Stay on the street. I know, I know, I heard you. Gee, you don't have to yell. Huh, whatever. Huh, huh, uh, stay on the straight path. Stay on the straight path. Let's go this way. But this is the straight path. This way is shorter. But Schneider said... Stay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but this way is shorter. We'll get there faster and we'll have more time for the party. I don't know, Hermie. <sighs> I've listened to you the whole trip. It's time we do things my way. Let's go. Mm. You see, this is much better. The straight path, Hermie. Uh, I guess you're right. Let's go. for coming. Veggie dip? No thanks. We have some. Did 
you have any trouble finding it? Uh, what's that? I can't hear you. I have something in my ear. You know, Schneider, Proverbs 2, 12 through 15, talks about staying on the straight path. And those that mess up walk down crooked paths. The straight path is always better. Hmm, that's good advice. Yes, very good advice. Uh, Herbie, uh, where have you been? The dance contest is about to start. Look out, everyone. My public awaits. I'm making a straight path to the party. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Who put that there? <laughs> when a parent or teacher tells you what to do, do you listen? Many times we wonder, why are there so many rules in my house? Or why is everybody always telling me what to do? What do's and don'ts can you think of? Don't climb a thorn bush. Oh, hi, Hermie. That's a good one. Don't eat a thorn. Oh, yeah, that's good. Don't fall into a thorny bush. Oh, okay. Don't sit on a thorn. I see where this is going. Don't fall asleep on a thorn. Don't play around with thorns. Don't jump over thorns. This is a real thorn in your side. Yeah, you could say that. Well, those are all examples of don'ts. Can you think of any do's? Yes, one. What's that? Do you mind taking this thorn out of my side? Oh, sure. Yeah, let me get that. Are you a licensed doctor? No, but I'm a father, and I've done this before. OK, uh, on the count of three, you pull, all right? One, uh, two. Uh, there it is. That's it? I can scream now? Sure, if you must. Ah! Oh, well, <laughs> that feels better. Thanks, Max. <laughs> Our parents tell us not to play with thorns so we won't get hurt. The reason that rules are put into place is to keep us and others safe. And as Busby is about to find out, God's rules are the best rules to follow. I don't need them. I'm king of the bees. That's right, K-I-N-G, king. I'll start my own hive, H-I-V-E, Busby's Beehive. People will come from all over to see it. They'll say, who built this amazing hive? And I'll say, Busby, the king of the bees, B-U-Z-B-Y. Remember that name, Busby! Ouch, O-U-C-H, ouch! Just a dream. What is that? 
Ah, it's good to be busy. B-U-S-Y, busy. You go right there, my friend. Yes, you do. Where's that name? Oh, a new neighbor. Excuse me. You're a busy bee so late at night <laughs> when uh, most insects are sleeping. I'm a busy bee. B-U-S-Y. Busy. Name's Busby. B-U-Z-B-Y. I'm king of the bees. I'm fast and I got a stinger. That's right. I'm taking care of bees. Gotta go, gotta go, go, go. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, so late at night. Whoa, what happened to you? I was up late with our new neighbor. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Our new neighbor. I'm collecting pollen and making honey. Y'all like honey? I like honey. I like to drink honey. I like to spell honey. H-O-N-E-Y. Honey. Excuse me, ladies. I'm king of the bees. B-E-E-S. I'm taking care of business. And I gotta go. Who is that? He's cool. Busby, king of the bees. K-I-N-G, king. It's nice to have new neighbors. Oh, Hermie, I was wondering, I need to go to a rose garden party over by the bushes and was wondering if you could watch Haley and Bailey for an hour. Is that possible? Sure, no problem. Oh, nice to see you, Haley. Hello, Bailey. I'm Bailey. She's Haley. Ah, uh, right, yeah. Now you two don't get dirty. Stay with Hermie and do whatever he tells you to do. Do you understand? Yes, Mama. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Well, this shouldn't be any problem. Watching kids is a cinch. What kids? Already? They couldn't be far. Uh, Haley? Bailey? Haley! Haley! Bailey! Bailey! Haley! Bailey! Oh, there they are. Where have you two been? We just stopped by to say hi to our new neighbor. Oh, this place is a mess. He obviously doesn't know the garden golden rules. All done. The king of the bees has finished the hive. Nice work. W-O-R-K. Work. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's a beaut, all right. Yeah. Hey, um, uh, Busby, since you'll be living here, has anyone told you the rules of the garden? Rules? I don't like rules. King don't like rules. I'm king of the bees. Yeah, but all bugs live here, not just bees. Come with us. I think you'll find this helpful. I'll go, but I got things to do. I'm busy. I'm king of the bees, you know what I mean? Yes, we heard. Well, there it is. The Garden Golden Rules. Oh, boy. <sighs> Number 10, no loud noises after bedtime. Number 9, no speeding. Number 8, don't cause others to do wrong. Number 7, don't make a mess. Number 6, don't hurt another bug's feelings. And <sighs> Number 5, do love one another. Number 4, do help one another. Number 3, do listen to your parents. Number 2, don't open the gate. Number one, golden garden rule, always listen to God. So what do you think? I don't like rules. Rules aren't cool. I'm cool. C-O-O-L. I'm king of the bees, baby. I got my own rules. Now I gotta collect pollen to make some honey. Bye. Well, that went well. Oh, yes. He's so cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, I'm Buzz B, and I'm the king of the bees. I'm the talk of the town, and it's easy to see that I'm too cool for school, and these rules just aren't for me. Well, I'm a B U C B Y, the king of the bees. If they all say yes, then I say no, and you're supposed to stop. Well, I say go. Well, if it's good, then I want to be bad. Just how to look happy when you're acting so mad. I'm Buzz Speaking, I'm the king of the bees, I'm the talk of the town, and it's easy to see that I'm a too cool for school, and these rules just aren't me. Well, I'm 
Well, I'm a B U C B Y, the dream of the bees. I swing it. <laughs> Here, the king likes that one, baby. <laughs> oh, the temperature's hot, but I'm keeping it cool. Don't try to fool me, cause I'm nobody's fool. If I see you turn right, you can bet I'll turn left. But what I do next is I ain't anyone's guess. I'm Buzz B, looking at the bees. I'm the talk of the town, and it's easy to see that I'm too cool for school. And these rules just aren't for me. Well, I'm B U C B Y. I don't bother to ask me why Cause I'll fly where I wanna fly Cause I'm a killer bee Well I'm buzz bear I'm buzz bear The king of the bees Oh yeah Busby you have to stop. You're breaking all the Garden Golden rules. Rules aren't cool. I'm cool. I'm king. K-I-N-G, king. But you're having an effect on the children. Look. I think they look cool. I like the way they look. Yes, I do. Hey, you know, they need a stinger. I got a stinger. Okay. If you don't listen to me, you're going to have to listen to them. No time to talk. Got honey to make. I like honey. I'm a busy bee. Name's Busby. B-U-Z-B-Y. B-Y-E. He's gone. G-O-N-E. Gone. Yeah, he's a tough one. We should talk to God. He'll know what to do. My thoughts exactly. Hello, Hermie. Hello, Wormy. Hello, God. Uh, are you busy? Sure, but I'm never too busy for you. Have you seen this Busby Bee guy? Well, well, of course you have. I mean, you're God. <laughs> you would have. Yes, Busby is a very busy bee, isn't he? He doesn't like to follow the rules. I've known many like him. How do we get him to understand that there are rules to follow? Some need to find that out for themselves. They have to learn their lesson the hard way. Like someone I know. What? I'm concerned about those who follow the rule breakers, too. Those who think breaking the rules is cool. Like Haley and Bailey. They're hanging around Busby a little too much. And hey, wait, I'm supposed to be watching them. Haley, Bailey, Haley, Bailey, Haley, Bailey. Thanks, God. I know we'll be back. Anytime. In the meantime, I'll talk to Busby. Got my own hive, lots of honey, life is good. Fresh honey, fresh from my hive, the hive of the king of the bees. That's me. Busby. What was that? Who said that? Busby, it's me. Who's talking to the king of the bees? Busby, it's God. And I'm the king of everything. You need to follow the garden golden rules. I can't hear you. There's too much noise. Busby, please listen to me. I got things to do. I'm a busy bee. Very busy. B U S. Why? Hi, Busby. You came by to see the king of the bees? Yeah, we think you're cool. Yeah. Very cool. I'm cool. I'm king of the bees. I break the rules. Breaking the rules is cool. Yeah, breaking, breaking the, the rules, rules is cool. Well, let's go have some fun. Whee! Whee! Awesome! All right, surf's up. That was fun. Oh, we love mud surfing. Let's do it again. I'm first this time. Haley, Bailey, what do you think you're doing? I told you not to get dirty and to stay with Hermie. But Mama... Don't but Mama me. I don't want you hanging around this bee ever again. He is a bad influence on you. But I'm king of the bees, K-I-N-G. But I'm their Mama. M-A-M-A, -M -A, Mama. Okay. Oh, there you are. Oh, uh, I I'm sorry, Lucy. Uh, they kept getting away from me. I'm not blaming you. These two knew exactly what they were supposed to do. They directly disobeyed me and you. Let's go. 
I think we need to have another talk with Busby. I agree. You know, Busby, it's important to obey the rules. At first, uh, you may not like them. They make it seem like you can't have fun, but they do help you have fun. It's no fun when you're hurt, right? I don't like to get hurt. Getting hurt's not cool. Rules are good, and God makes rules because he loves us. What do you think? I think there's a big fence in our way. What? Oh, yeah, big fence. Mm. Let's open it. Do you remember rule number two on the Golden Garden rules? It said very clearly, don't open the gate. Do you remember that? Uh-huh, yeah. Sometimes fences keep bad or dangerous things out. <laughs> so let's move on. <laughs> this place gives me the creeps. So, why don't we start obeying the rules by picking up our mess, which is rule number seven on the big countdown. Well, I need to go see how Lucy is doing with Haley and Bailey. I don't like to clean. Cleaning's no fun. I like making a mess. M-E-S-S, -S -S, mess. I'm king of the bees. I have a stinger. Mama was busy cooking, so we thought we would sneak off and hang out with you. Yeah, let's break some rules, King Bee. Are you, oh, the, the, something? Close enough. I like it when you spell. Follow me. Lucy, I was just coming to look for you. Oh, hi, Hermie. Have you seen Haley and Bailey? Are they gone again? I don't know what it is with them. Every time I turn my back, they're gone. They continue to disobey me. It's Busby. He's a bad influence on them. You don't think... I do. T-R-O-B-L-E. Trouble. There it is. The fence. The big gate. Let's open it. Uh, I don't know about that. That's one rule we'd better follow. What are you talking about? I don't follow the rules. I'm king of the bees. The king makes the rules. I say we open this gate. You see, it's nothing. Uh-oh. Big frog. F-R-O-G frog. Not cool. Busby has left the area. matter. You two are in big trouble. Let's go. Did you hear that? Nope. Come on. We need to find Busby. Don't like frogs. Don't like big frogs. Don't like big bully frogs. Don't like any frogs. What? King of the Bees has no castle. I got a stinger, but no castle. What good is that? I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. I don't like a shoe with soles. I don't like a shoe with soles. Company, halt. Private art ant, what do you see here? Um, a, a hive? <laughs> 
it's been uh, destroyed, sir. And whose hive is it? That be who bombed our anthill, sir. And what should we do in retaliation, Private Arnie Ant? Mess it up real good, sir? Tempting thought, Private, but not what we're going to do. What do you suppose God would have us do? Hmm. Aha! March! I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. I like a sandwich covered with mold. I like a sandwich covered with mold. I don't know, but I've been told. I wonder where he is. <gasps> what? <gasps> the bullfrog is loose! All the work just weeks ago. <laughs> On the part of Antonio and the ants. Who risked their lives to capture the frog. They fought the great beast. They brought him down. Making our home safe for days to come. We salute those brave ants and all that they do to make our garden free. Now the frog's loose. We need to tell the others. It's the frog! Woo! Oh, head for the hills! God is with me, God is with me, God is with me. King of the bees lives here now. You're a fly. I'm a bee. I gotta stand. Oh, head for the hill. Head for the hill. The frog is loose. We know. Head for the ants bunker. You'll be safe there. We need to find the ants. I wonder where they are. Let's make sure everyone gets to safety. Sure is quiet. I like the peace. P-E-A-C-E. -E. Peace. Busby. Oh, no. Not again. Busby, we need to talk. This place isn't as quiet as I thought. I gotta go. <laughs> Well, I think that's everyone. Except us! Everyone stay calm and don't move. We can't. What's going on here? The frog is loose. We're following the emergency procedures in case of a UFO. An unexpected frog occurrence. Good work. Duck and cover! We've been hit! Is there a lightning bug in the house? Ah, oh, thanks. Sorry! Must keep going. Can't stop. The ants fixed my hive. After all I did to them, they fixed my hive. Oh, I'm gonna cry. See all why. The king of the bees never cries. Yes, he does. <laughs> I must find the ants. Say I'm sorry. S-O-R-R-Y. Sorry. I wonder how he got loose. We know. It was Busby. We were there. 
but we didn't do it. We told him it was a rule and not to break it. But we shouldn't have gone with Busby. We're sorry we disobeyed. Oh, I gave you those rules so you wouldn't get hurt and so others wouldn't get hurt. Just look what breaking one rule has done to the garden. We're sorry, Mama. It's important that you told us what you did and said you're sorry. And very important to always mind and obey your Mama. Thanks for telling us, Bailey. Haley. I'm Haley. She's Bailey. Uh, are you sure? What should we do? Anyone have any brilliant ideas? How about we yell and scream for our lives? Great idea! Oh, oh, hey! We we Oh no, this is all my fault. Busby. God, was that you? Yes, it is, Busby. I'm sorry, God, real sorry. I let the frog loose, I caused all this. I broke all the rules of the garden. Will you forgive me? Of course, Busby. But rules were meant to be followed. Not because I don't want you to have fun, but because I want you to be safe. My rules are a way of saying I love you. You know what, God? I'm not the king of the bees. You're the king of the bees. K-I-N-G, king. Thank you, Busby. Now I have something for you to do, and it requires your stinger. I have a stinger. All right, you big bully croaker. I want you to stand up and get off my friends. You understand? Don't make me get rough. I got the king of the bees on my side. He created me with a stinger, and I'm not afraid to use it. Okay, you asked for it. It's time to take care of some beesness. It sounds like Busby. He's trying to save us. My stinger, Croker. S T I N G E R. Stinger. Listen up, everybody. I got something to say. I'm sorry I broke the rules. I broke all the rules. God made the rules for us. The rules are cool. C-O-O-L, cool. And I'm gonna follow the rules. And just to show that I'm sorry, I want everyone to come by my half today for a big party. P-A-R-T-Y. Thank you for having everyone over, Busby. I like what you've done with the place. I wanted to thank everyone for what they did, especially the ants. Hey! 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 Hey, Busby, you never told us why you left the other hive. I was kicked out for not obeying the rules. I was a bad bee. But I went by there today and apologized. Rules are cool. That's nice. Yeah. Then I invited all my bee friends over for the party. That's nice. I think you're going to need more honey. Busby learned that following the rules is cool. God gave us rules like the Ten Commandments so we would know how to live. He, he's not trying to take away our fun. God wants our lives to be joyful and happy and he wants us to treat others and their belongings with kindness and respect. Max, how well do you know the Ten Commandments? Oh, pretty well. Don't worship any gods before him. 
Uh, don't make any false idols. Don't use his name in vain. Keep the Sabbath day holy. You're good. Uh, hey, anything about inviting someone over unexpectedly? No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, phew. <laughs> Why? Well, Busby wanted to come by and see you. Well, that's okay. He doesn't need an invitation. But uh, he wanted to bring someone with him. Oh, okay. Who? Oh, a few of his friends. Hey, everybody, there's Max Licato. L U C A D O Licato. No. H E L P. No. I was very excited to play the part of Busby. I'm, I'm a big fan of Bono. Uh, that's Elvis. What? That's Elvis. You're doing an impression of Elvis. Oh, I mean, Elvis. <laughs> Max, oh, Max is a nice guy to work with, really is. Yeah, he naturally steals the scenes, being 300 times bigger than me, <laughs> talking in booming voices that hurt my ears, and always getting in the last word, too. I'm, uh, I'm the one getting thorns pushed in my side. <laughs> uh, incidentally, uh, that wasn't a prop, you know. Playing the part of a bullfrog in a children's video was a stretch for me. As you know, my credits include Shakespeare in the pawn production of a Midsummer Night's Swamp comedy and uh, Frog on a Hot Tin Roof. Uh, I've been nominated for a Golden Garden Award, you know, and I've had an audience with the Queen Bee. So I'm a very serious actor. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, all that spelling stuff was cool. Yeah, I like to spell. Okay, Mississippi. M I S S I S S I P P I. Woo! Now me, now me. Czechoslovakia. Oh, that's not fair. Bees are a social insect. We live together in hives, work together side by side all day, sleep together, eat together, everything is together. Gets a little nerve wracking. I like to spend time alone, quiet walks in the petunias, watching the sunset, listening to Beethoven. But that constant buzzing, da. Ah. The bullfrog wrestling scene was uh, pretty tough. Of course, I did my own stunts. The director wanted to bring in a stunt ant, but I insisted on doing it myself. On a close-up, you'd be able to tell it wasn't me, and everyone knows this face, hmm? I really liked the 50s. The music, the dress, the way they danced to Jitterbug. It was all fun. Wormy, I never knew you liked the 50s. You never asked. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, right, right. Obsequious. Hey, Mom, this guy's not playing fair. <laughs> yeah? I get stopped a lot in the garden. Everyone seems to recognize me now. All those pictures, all those autographs, all those adoring fans. It's the burden I must bear, being a star. Well, a lot of people ask about my husband. I am married, you know, to a wonderful bug, but he's a bit camera shy and hasn't gotten into the whole Hermy mania, but um, would you like to meet him? Sure. Ricky, get over here! Yo. Hmm, <laughs> isn't he dreamy? You big lug. 